Thank you for having me here today. I'm really excited, and I'm not trying to be a copycat of the third person of the last session, but this is such a memorable time for me. I want to take a picture with you guys. Is that OK? A picture, a quick picture. Um, Honda can could you actually take a picture? And I want you guys to look as happy as possible, because this is Ted, right? You guys are really excited, right? Like, woo! Can you guys do that for me? Yeah, yeah! Could, uh, three, yeah. two, one. Great. Great, OK, thank you, thank you. OK, one sec, please. Bear with me. OK, so I'd like to get to sharing my ideas. Today, I'm going to be talking about the story and the process of how we forget our dreams. Our story starts in a baby cradle, right? We are loved and we are taken care of. We start to grow little by little, and everyone has a dream at that point. And then education starts at the age of five. Now, I want you to notice how our dreams are starting to be put aside. Mom, I have a dream. I want to become an athlete. Oh, that's wonderful, dear. But take your shots. It's going to help you. What is this, Mom? It looks real neat. It's called ability, dear. It will help you feet. Oh, OK. So I'll just take them. Great now, dear. Just take a seat. And then we go to school. We learn many things. We learn this and that. We learn about ability. They say the same thing and we take the same shots. For example, math, reading, and science are real good shots. And we are praised every time we do good because we are tested on the abilities that we have. And then we start to think that ability is wonderful. Ability is everything. Slowly but surely, that's how we start to think. Mom, we won our game. Oh, that's wonderful, dear. How was your test? I didn't do really good. I got a 42. That's a shame, my dear. I'm really depressed with you. I'm sorry, Mom. What can I do? You need to help me out. Tell me, what, what can I do? It's OK, son. I have a solution for you. Let's go to scram school. They have ability for you. <laughs> and at scram school, it starts to excellate, or excellate. They value ability rather than the dreams that we have. And then a new kind of vision starts to take place, and it's called hensachi. Uh, Mr. Ted, I want to go to soccer practice. That's my dream. Can I go? Oh my gosh, what are you saying? You have such high hensachi. It would be a shame. But that's exactly what I want to do. No, shut up, boy. You're going to the high schools. And so we take the entrance exams for the highest Hensachi schools. We study hard. We study hard. And it's supposed to be the best school for us. And we are excited because we are accepted. But at middle school, it's the same thing as cram school. We take our shots, math, reading, and science. We are tested again about the ability that we have again and again. Now, no one actually realized what kind of dreams we have, so, it starts, so we start to think, maybe it doesn't really matter. That's the way that education is. I want you to see how it accelerates. We go to cram school again because they have the best shots. Look at it, num times 200 ability. That's what they have. And we study harder again and again. Again, dreams don't matter. Ability do. And so we study hard and hard. We take the exams for the highest high schools in terms of Hensachi. And at high school, of course, it's the same. Of course, it's the same. Of course, it's the same. Ability is everything. Dreams are lame. We are taught to go to the best universities, and it's always in terms of Hensachi. So we go to university. We're really excited. But after, after high school, it's a little bit different. Because at university, no one tells us what to do. So all we do is have fun. <laughs> it's true. And so we focus more on what, what kind of fun we want to have. 
and we have no vision at this point because that's what education has taken from us. We, are, we have a lot of ability, but we are dreamless. So we just have fun, and that continues for three years. But then it comes an event, it's called Shukatsu. We have to prepare, let's go Sampatsu, right? And we have to go take the shots, let's go for seminars. We haven't taken the shots in such a while. So the question is, what kind of companies we want to go to? The answer is easy, the one with the highest hensachi. So we take the firms that seem to be of most value, Dreams aren't a, val a value at this point, ability is. And we study hard for the interviews and the entry exams, entry exams, and hooray, we go to the best firms. And we are excited because everything else is a worm. And then our job starts, we are very excited. We don't know why we are working for it, but it doesn't really matter. And then May comes, we start getting a little, we start getting a little depressed, but then payday comes and payday rocks. So although we don't really know what we want to do, because payday is so good and our value is being precious, um, we think it's okay. So at this point, um, I explained to you how we are actually educated to actually try to pursue a career based on ability rather than value, uh, rather than our dreams. And this is how we've continued to forget our dreams and we lose our dreams. Now the second phase is about how we continue after pursuing a career to forget our dreams. We continue to forget our dreams. Now take a look. So we meet a guy and he looks real special and when we look at him, we notice he has a dream. We, we tell ourselves, what was our dream? When did we start to lose our dream? What is it that I want to do? And you get worried, so you make a tweet. My work sucks, there's nothing sweet. And then everyone says, my, my life sucks too. And then we're relieved because everyone is the same. So again, we work much harder. We don't really know what we wanna do, but we work much harder. But the problem continues, what do we wanna do? We get afraid, so we make another tweet. We are once again relieved because everyone is the same. And this loop continues on and on and to the point where Twitter isn't enough. The next step we do is we go to seminars. We talk about our <laughs> career visions. We talk about the dreams we have. We talk about the career we want to pursue. But I want you to notice how we're taking no action. We're actually being satisfied just by discussion. And we do this on and on. We take seminars, we go to work, we get depressed, we go to seminars to the point where seminars are not enough. Next thing we do, we start to pay money. We pay money to be with the people that seem to be special. We pay money to hear what other people have for their dreams. We pay money to actually try to find a dream by listening to others. But I want you guys to notice that again, there's no action. It's all about discussion. And we go on and on with this until to the point, and, we never no, and they never notice this. All they say is that I'm okay because I have something to tell my friends. And what they do is tell about the community, communities they are in and about the dreams and ideas that other people have and not the dreams and ideas that they have for themselves. And it's really awkward how they don't notice that I'm actually really talking about them and I want you guys, and I want to show you an example of this. This is a picture that I took recently of the people that I'm talking about. <laughs> I want you guys to notice that maybe it's about you. I hope my message kind of gets to you. Did you get it or are you gonna forget it? That's my message that I have for you, thank you. <laughs> 